Hi everyone, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and today I'm at the Permaculture Institute, which is just a little bit north of Santa Fe, and I'm with Arena Pittman. Scott and Arena are uh, the founders of this amazing facility, and uh, Arena was telling me a funny story about how they decided to start using uh, dogs for to protect their livestock and their crops. You want to tell the story? It's really funny. Well, it's pretty funny for us because we're not dog people. We're cat people and livestock people. And for years we avoided dogs. And then one year we had a very good peach crop and peaches attract raccoons. And peaches attract everything. Everything likes a peach. <laughs> and uh, one night I was um, hanging out. It was late. I was doing something on my own. And then I heard that sound. That sound that told me that there was a raccoon on my peach tree stripping it clean from the fruit. And raccoons, they just take one bite. And then they drop the peach on the ground. So you come in the morning and your entire peach tree is gone. And it's littered with chewed up peaches. The ground is littered. It was the night. And I got outside. I got my husband out. And with the flashlight, he comes to a peach tree lifts his head and shines the flashlight straight into a raccoon's face and i'm standing there and realizing if this raccoon just because out of surprise or out of fear falls into my husband's face in the middle of the night it's just going to be a very sad story from that point on and that was the moment when i told my husband look at me i'm making this promise we're going to get dogs never again i'm standing under this peach tree risking my life over peaches <laughs> Chasing raccoons, which is a job of a dog. So we went to a shelter and we were lucky enough, we walked in the shelter and there was our uh, dog, uh, Smoke, our big uh, Great Pyrenees uh, mix dog that is now keeping raccoons away. So you haven't had any raccoons or any, any damage? You know, I think they might come around, but they know there is a dog. And, and it's not only about peaches, because the other thing that every raccoon likes is a chicken. And we have chickens here, and we had incredible predator pressure. We, we, nobody could sleep at night. There was this endless sort of where's the flashlight and where's the, um, some kind of supplies to get rid of raccoons. And uh, drama was endless. And now we have dogs and we sleep at night and we know that somebody else is basically in charge of safety at the place, not us. So yeah, dogs, and uh, I'm sure most of the people who are listening to me are dog people, but for those few who aren't dog people, dogs make a big difference on your farm. It definitely is uh, your best bet for a happy farm, is a good dog. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you, Arena. That's the conclusion that we came to <laughs> also. and. I also wasn't a dog person, and I mentioned that in the video. We have a whole little segment, if you're not a dog person, how to start to begin to work with dogs, because they do take a little bit of training and a little bit of work, but they're really well worth it, and a, and a full night's sleep is a, a good part of that. A full night's sleep, for sure, and, and, and lots of chickens. Like right now, our freezer is going to be filled because of the vigilance of the dog, not because of our vigilance. We would not be able to raise those chickens uh, that Marjorie filmed previously, and uh, we would not be able to pull it off without a dog. Well, thanks so much, Arena. And um, if you're in uh, the um, New Mexico area and would like to learn more about permaculture, sustainable living, they do a lot more here with alternative energy, even economics and finance. Lots of amazing things going on. If you get a chance to come by the Permaculture Institute, I highly recommend it. What website would they be able to find out it's, more about you? Uh, Permaculture.org, and we're, we teach all over the place. So anywhere you live, look us up and see maybe we're teaching near you. All right. Thank you all. We'll see you on the next segment.